So I am going to address a peculiar issue today because this has to deal with certain people that I watch on YouTube. Specifically, these are Catholic mommies who homeschool their children, pass themselves off as good little Catholics against another form of Catholics. I am referring to, as the title says in this video, I am addressing some conservative Catholics, not all conservative Catholics, but just some. I have found through their social media platforms, not just YouTube, but Instagram, Facebook, where they have this sinister presentation that just because a Catholic is pro-life or a Catholic is uh, pro-choice, a Catholic is pro-gun or not pro-gun, if they find themselves in disagreement with liberal Catholics or in-between Catholics, they consider themselves better Catholics. So before I get into specifics of this, I just want to pose one question on this video. Where does it reside in Roman Catholic doctrine that there is a significant difference between a, Catholic, a conservative Catholic or a liberal Catholic? Can somebody please point me in the direction in the catechism or in a group of writings from the saints? Use whatever piece of ammunition you want to and present it to me. I want to know where it says it. I want to know where a conservative Catholic, not all conservative Catholics, I want to be perfectly clear because I'm a conservative Catholic myself, but I don't think like this. I don't go around telling people that it's wrong for them to believe certain things that maybe the Catholic Church has an issue with, and I'm going to divide over this. You know, I just came back from Mass this morning, and Father Paul, who's one of our parish priests, did a lovely sermon today, and he said, all people are welcome in the Catholic Church. All people. Not, conserv not just conservative Catholics, not just liberal Catholics, not just in-between Catholics, not just uncertain Catholics, all Catholics. And for that matter, for that matter, he was talking about all people from all denominations and all religions. And I realized that this is a difficult subject for a lot of conservative Catholics to wrap their heads around. But that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is you using the very same ammunition that a fanatical leftist would use when they disagree with you. You're telling me that if a Roman Catholic, and I'm going to get specific here, because this is something that's really, really offensive to me. Because I live in the United States of America, I don't live in the Roman Catholic Church. And we need to understand that as Catholics. I have the freedom to choose. I have the freedom to speak my mind. I have the freedom to disagree, just like you do. You don't have to watch my channel. You can watch somebody else's channel. But just because I have a different opinion than you about certain doctrines of Roman Catholicism, does not give you the right to say that I'm going to go to hell because I am not in alignment with certain criteria that the Catholic Church has instilled over the centuries. Because we all know how much it has changed over the years. We all know how much it has changed over the centuries. Or do we? Because when I see these little mommy YouTubers out there who are Catholics going around making these videos that look like it was made by 8th graders because you just present information in such a generalized way and you categorize very complex subjects and you turn it into about five sentence, five words in a sentence and you pass yourself off as one who thinks that they know what they're talking about, I'm sorry, but somebody who has read a couple of books and has a little bit of education in his background is going to see your videos for what they are. And you're lying. And you're a bigot. And you're the racist. Because you're using the very same analogies, you're using the very same tactics, scare tactics, hate tactics, racist tactics, that a fanatical leftist would use. You're no different. You're exactly part of the problem because you're the one that's going around saying, you know what, if you disagree with me, guess what? There's no place for you in the Roman Catholic Church. Well, that's not what my priest told me this morning when I went to Mass. That is not what he told me at all. He said that there is a place for all just because you're not in alignment with certain people's beliefs. It's like born-again evangelicals, and I don't, want, I don't want to castigate anybody in my videos because I have respect for all religions and denominations. I may disagree with them, and I can get into specifics about that. Maybe I will do that in future video presentations, but for the most part, I'll be general and say it's almost like a born-again evangelical telling me that if I'm not saved, I'm going to go to hell. Or if I don't read 
uh, there's some exclusive groups who say, if I don't read the King James Version of the Bible, the 1611 specifically, I'm going to go to hell. There are people who hold these beliefs. Likewise, be very careful what you're saying. Be very careful of how you're delivering your rhetoric. You're telling people that they're going to go to hell because their beliefs are not in alignment with you. And the last time I checked, the only person who's, can, well, the only being that can decide whether we're going to heaven and hell is Jesus Christ himself. Not some conservative mommy Catholic who thinks that her set of beliefs is superior to that of everybody else's. What the hell is that? Where do you get this from? What kind of books are you reading? What kind of rhetoric are you spilling on your channel when you're telling your fellow Catholics that they're wrong for believing what they are just because their beliefs don't specifically or perfectly align with yours? Where do you get that from? Show me in the catechism where that's justified. Show me. Show me where it says that the Pope, Francis himself, has said, yes, this is how we're all supposed to believe and this is how we're all supposed to operate and this is how we're all supposed to act. I want to see your evidence for that because I haven't seen it. I haven't read it and nobody's ever discussed it with me. And if you want to be specific about things, if you want to just confess to all peoples how superior your church is, why don't we talk about some of the problems that the Catholic Church has, like all the sexual abuse and allegations? How come doesn't, that doesn't bother, bother any of the mommy YouTubers out there who are Catholic? How come you're not making videos about that kind of stuff? Did you watch that? Uh, was that Netflix? I think it was. It's either Netflix or Amazon Prime. Deliver us from evil, Father Father uh, Oliver O'Grady. How many boys and girls he molested, and he still walks around in Ireland, and nobody touches him. How come doesn't? How come that doesn't bother any of the pious slash traditional conservative Catholics out there? How come that doesn't bother you? Do you know how many lives that man has ruined? How come nobody's making videos about that? How come nobody's harboring or suggesting or manifesting all the illegal alien activity that the Catholic Church has financed and that the Catholic Church has supported? Because they have. How come nobody's making videos about that? Even the liberal Los Angeles Times ran numerous articles about this in the past couple of years. Why are we talking about those kinds of issues? They're important. They are clearly in violation of some things that the Catholic Church itself teaches, aren't they? You don't think so? Oh, I do. There are some very good things that the Catholic Church does too, especially here in the city of Pittsburgh where I live. The Catholic Church has done wondrous things for homelessness. They have done wondrous things for poverty. They have done wondrous things to get people back on their feet. I'm not going to sit here and make a video of castigating my own church. I am merely presenting to you what is perfect and what is imperfect. And we have to understand these things if we want to have a civil conversation about what is going on and what the problems are. But you, as a female mommy YouTuber out there who has nothing better to do but make videos all day because you're a stay-at-home mom and you homeschool your kids, you have no right to tell somebody that they're going to go to hell simply because they're not in alignment with your beliefs. How many times do I have to emphasize this? How many times do I need to be emphatic about it? So I'll leave you with this, you good little conservative Catholics out there who think that the church is completely flawless and it's never done anything wrong. How about all the Mayan codexes that the Jesuits destroyed that are no longer in existence because they were not in alignment with the teachings of Jesus Christ? And the Jesuits eradicated all of those documents. They're gone. They're completely gone. But I submit to you, I'm going to leave a little link below this video. I want There's a little book that I want you to read. It's only about 196 pages written by a Dominican priest. And in it, he discusses a brief account of the destruction of the Indies, which it basically tells about the destruction of the indigenous peoples in America, written in 1552, which is 224 years, way before the Declaration of Independence came into existence. This book was written many, many years before that. And it tells about how cruel and unusual Catholic missionaries were to indigenous peoples. Did any of you good little Catholics ever read that book? Well, I'm going to leave a link below this video, and I want you to read it. I want you to discuss it, and I want you to leave a comment about it. And maybe we can have a discussion about that. You see, not everything is perfect. And maybe in your little world and in your little uh, house where you have your kids and your little white picket fence and your husband who makes a ton of money because you get to sit home and make videos about people that you're not in alignment with and you have disagreements over, 
Not the whole world doesn't live like that. Just you live like that. Let's bring this discussion to the table. Let's have something real about it. Let's have something honest to say about it. And let's not be biased about it. Because you're doing the same very thing the fanatical leftists do. When you don't dis when you find themselves in disagreement with you, now you're punishing them. Now you're telling them that they're going to hell. You're doing the very same thing that the fanatical leftists do. Can you not see that? Can you not see the errors of your ways? I'm going to leave you with an excerpt of a Bible verse to end this video real quick. Philippians, the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 12. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Have a great weekend.